G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, here's a bit more on the saga with the Tata. Now, in the last video, I braced up the uh, the union. It all worked out really good. It's pretty straightforward now putting it together, but as far as sealing this, I was going to just use some uh, uh, automotive silicon thread sealer, and that would normally that would seal it. But then, being fastidious, I thought, back it, I'll put a um, a little gasket, like a compression ring, on here to seal it, a uh, copper compression ring. Now, you know, normally you just stick one on, and if it was bigger than the actual outside, it wouldn't matter. But this actually screws into the the female part, uh, the female plug section. So I've got actually have one that will be no bigger diameter than the outside of this so okay we'll look at our uh, washer sealing washer uh, collection and see what we've got so here's my copper and aluminium compression rings um, i've got some synthetic ones in another drawer but i want to use copper because of a certain amount of heat with the vacuum pump with so uh, we don't want to use, say, this type of thing. We we'll use copper. And going through, there is one, or well, several of the right outside diameter, but the inside diameter is too small. So we have to machine that out. Now, you could try using a drill, or you could use a boring bar. I would use a boring bar because we want to get just the minimum amount of metal out, just so it will fit over. So I'll show you what we're doing. All right, I've got the boring bar head in the lathe and I've been machining out the centre of the uh, washer. I'll come in from the tail stock and give you a good look and you can see what we're up against. Now I've been machining out the centre with the small boring bar. Once again this is where small boring bars are super handy. They're certainly much more useful than the big boring bars so get yourself a set of small ones. But you can only go so far and then you can't tension the jaws enough to stop this turning uh, from the, the drag from the boring bar. So we're getting close to the jaws. It should have enough clearance, but how do you machine that out without the very small uh, walled washer turning in the jaws? Now it's sitting in the grooves in the jaws to keep it all lined up. I just have to go a little bit more so that we can get the, the fitting to go on. It doesn't have to go far, it's just about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a little um, DC powered uh, rotary uh, grinder that I made up that you've seen in other videos and I'm going to open this out with either a diamond burr or a carbide burr. I'll probably use a carbide burr so it won't clog and that'll be enough just to open it up. Using a burr or a sanding disc even, I'll see what I've got, you'll put minimum load on the job and it shouldn't rotate in the jaws. It hasn't rotated yet but it's getting very close. So we'll switch away from the boring bar and once again this is where, you know, these little tools that you can make up uh, you can have fun making them and they can also be super duper useful so we'll, we'll set it up and we'll do it this is the 775 dc powered unit that you would have seen in uh, earlier videos it's uh, a simple little setup just drives a, a, a spindle and i've decided to go with a, a, a sanding drum now, if you haven't got one of these, you could use an air pencil die grinder, you could use the Hilda tool, use anything that will fit on your, on your uh, uh, compound. Uh, that's a, basically a small tool post grinder. And uh, yeah, we'll do it with this handy machine. Now, we only have to go a very small amount.
easy as that. So that's the power of you know, some of these homemade gadgets that you can make up. Once again, a little uh, project, uh, tool post grinder basically that I made up, which I use for cross drilling and radial drilling. It's done that job in seconds and it's made it easy peasy. So there's another example of, you know, you can never have too many tools and this is just a classic case. So there's something for you to think about. That's it for now. See you next time. Cheers.